Never Stop Learning Weeks 100 and 101 were all about Adobe Edge Animate for the Creative Cloud. Here you see my stage with a couple of design elements ready to be animated. So on the left and right I have some logos. These are SVG files. They were created in Adobe Illustrator. In the center I have a PNG file of a 3D planet I created in Photoshop. And in a little bit you're going to see another guy flying around. That's also an SVG file. Alright, so in order for me to preview this in a browser, I'm going to hit Control Enter. That launches my browser and the animation. Here goes my space pig flying back in with some text. Then Stay Muddy Get Fly comes in the scene. Once that settles down, from the left and right come in the logos. Once the logos settle, the animation stops. So I really wanted to show you that I was able to use Adobe's type kit in my graphic here because I'm a Creative Cloud member. So two things happen. One is I get to use cool fonts. So that's appealing to the eye. It makes my animation look great. But also I'm able to select it. So that means that uh, if you're searching for this in a search engine, it will come up. But once my animation stops, that's it. It's kind of boring after a while. It doesn't repeat. I'd like for this animation to loop over again after a couple seconds. So let's go back into Adobe Edge Animate. And you see here, my animation stops at 16 seconds. What I'd like to do is drag this over to about 20 seconds. I'm going to insert a trigger for an action here. Sounds kind of crazy, but it's really easy. So I come over here to my actions. I hover over this, and you see it says Insert Trigger by hitting Control T, or I could just click on that icon. I'm going to hit Control T. That launches this panel. This is where you'd be able to insert some JavaScript. I don't know how to insert JavaScript. I don't know how to write JavaScript. So, lucky for me, Adobe has some, has some JavaScript right here ready to go. I hit play because that's what I wanted to do and it inserts the JavaScript for me there. I'll close out this window and you see here it inserted a little trigger for that action. In order for me to preview this, I'm going to go back into my browser, hit control enter, launches the browser, there goes my space pig flying out. He flies back in dragging this with his Elroy Jetson backpack. Stay Muddy Get Fly pushes in the scene. In come the logos crashing towards the center. And then after a couple seconds, that playhead's going to hit that trigger onto the action, and it repeats. All right, so that was a success. If you want to learn more about this, just go ahead and check out the links that are in the description. That'll take you right to the specific post for this project. Or you could go over to SebastianBleak.com. On the top, you're going to see this link for artwork. Click on that one time. That's going to take you over to my Never Stop Learning blog. And these are all my current projects that I'm working on. Or you could come up to the top where it says Search. Type in a subject like maybe Smart Objects. Hit Enter. And it's going to show you the different articles I have posted about Smart Objects. If you don't find a topic you're looking for, feel free to leave me a comment or just go over to my website there's a link right there just send me an email that way and uh, give me a couple weeks and I should be able to post up a video for you then alright thanks have a great one